Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to Clash of Clans, where guys, the jury is still out on whether or not this latest Fall 2021 update has killed the Dragon Riders. Uh, I've heard many people say yes, and many people say no, that they're still just as good, so I need your opinions. Let me know in the comments. Are the Dragon Riders dead? Are we gonna see a huge shift in the meta from an air primary attack at Tunnel 14 to ground? Uh, and by the way, I'm working on a ground strategy. I'll be bringing it to you guys very soon here on the channel, so don't forget to subscribe. But if you go to the battle log, you'll see that we do have uh, a plus 88 day yesterday. Uh, and I'm, this is just my, my only way of knowing like how things are going for me personally. Uh, my attacks are all pretty much the same as they were before, sometimes a little low. 60% is not that great. But I ended up with a plus 88 yesterday because... Two people didn't attack, so I don't know. It's not going to be good. Uh, today, things aren't looking so good for me. Uh, my only attack was a 57% two-star, which is terrible. Um, well, okay, it, it could be worse. It could be a one-star, right? Uh, and uh, I've taken two three-star defenses, so I have a feeling I'm going to have a net negative today. We'll see. It might prompt me to change my attack strategy. My base design is in, is good, and so is my uh, my defending clan castle, so should be it shouldn't be the defense's fault. It may be the attack strategies being used on against me and my attack strategy that I'm that I'm using. So we'll see. But let's go out. Let's go do some clone attacks. Still using that. Still enjoying the heck out of it. It's so much fun, and I don't use it very often. I've, I don't like. I don't think I've ever used clone spells before. So it's kind of nice to mix it up. So uh, <clears throat> this one's an easy access. So here we go. We got two uh, swoopers pointing down. So you obviously don't want to send in your your air troops. From the bottom and that's where the town hall is so it's a very obvious entry point for my heroes yeah so super wall breaker let's actually get a super goblin in either storage just to start knackering those and hopefully i can get my uh my king and my queen to dive inward and of course the uh sneaky goblin did not quite get that gold stored down there we go we got it down perfect let's also drop another wall uh, super wall breaker just to distract some stuff ah and we hit the tornado trap perfect that's great. I would much rather hit the tornado trap with my heroes than with my dragons. So this is great. Uh, so the town hall should go down, no problem. Don't have to think about that anymore. And let's begin a deployment from uh, from the top. Let's actually get the eagle artillery quickly. So this should work out well. Let's pop the queen's ability. Uh, I've got the warden deployed, and there you go. There is a uh, a battle blimp. Oh, I forgot the warden. Okay, let's pop the warden's ability. I'm not really using the battle blimp to get to the town hall. I'm just wanting it to go straight through. So this should go fairly well. I would like to actually see the battle blimp kind of explode right there. Let's drop uh, three of my clone spells right there in the middle and we'll put one more over on the left. There you go. See that explosion of troops? It is just beautiful. So, uh, scatter, or let's see, royal champion. I'm gonna actually deploy the royal champion over here on this air defense. Once the um, single inferno gets targeted by some major defense, obviously my balloons aren't gonna survive. Actually, you know what? Let's send them over here. Yeah, let's send the royal champion over here on this side, but I want to make sure we get some dragons on the single inferno first. Um, and one of the things that I need to fix, and I might do that in the next attack, so you know I do at least two per raid or per video, is uh, bring some better cleanup troops. Because right now, the dragons are the only cleanup troops, and they generally get targeted by everything. So like in this case, unless this owl sticks to it and really uh, stays focused, I don't have any cleanup troops for the side of the base. So it's not going to be good. Let's pop this... Uh, uh, Royal Champion's ability here, and we're, I mean, we're getting rid of defenses, and if I get rid of all the defenses, dude, it's it's glorious. Like, I three-star, and it's awesome, but generally this happens, and, uh, <laughs> stupid. I hate the skeleton trap so much, but the owl does a great job. The owl does a really great job of, of doing some cleanup, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the unicorn survives. Come on, unicorn! Yes! Ah, but then there's a giant bomb. Dang it. But the owl uh, somehow survived, so hopefully the owl will continue to clean up this entire corner, and we'll get a pretty decent percentage. I mean, hey, if I pass 70%, I'm generally pretty happy. 80% means we did great. 90% is just kind of hurts because it's so close, and then, of course, the 100% three-star is the ultimate goal. So we missed out on an air defense, which barely had any hit points, and, uh, and it looks like two uh, Inferno Towers. I don't really count the mortar because my dragons don't care about the mortar. Um, so, yeah, did pretty good. Unfortunately, this owl is only level, I don't even know, three or four or something. So, uh, yeah, not the best damage dealer. But, hey, you know what? I'll get 80% for sure and potentially, like, 81 or 82%. So, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Which means, and it beckons the question once again, are dragon riders dead? I don't think they are. I really don't. I, I think the, the jury is coming to a conclusion in today's video. But we'll see. I mean, here here's the thing. So, base meta. 
designs and stuff and where traps and all that are will will adapt and that is something that uh will will also steer people's attack strategies in the right direction if everybody starts defending against dragon riders maybe it'll make bases weak against hogs or miners or something like that and then Dude, we're like, we're good. We can switch over to hogs or miners and start using those and three-starring everybody. And then everyone will shift their bases to defend against hogs and miners, and then everybody will switch back to dragons. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's a really crazy thing. So anyway, that was my first raid uh, of the video. Did much better that time. I am currently behind by five attacks at 152 trophies, which is like 30 trophies per raid that I'm behind. So yeah, unless I get some three stars, I'm going to be ne negative today, which is unfortunate, but... It is what it is. So, guys, I'll be right back in a couple of minutes whenever my heroes are awake. I've got my CC. Some people are sending them in. Thank you, Peacekeeper. You're a beast. And by the way, shout out to my clan. If you guys want to join my clan, join my Discord server and apply. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the uh, creator code is still active. We get all these amazing special offers from the update. So make sure you look for the like, green check mark at the top right-hand side of your screen before you buy something. If it's not there, that means your code has deactivated and you need to input it again. Link's in the description to do that automatically, by the way. I'll be right back once I get another army. This last attack was pretty good, 81%. Remember, there's been some time between these clips, so I'm really getting used to the idea of filming in my 14 again. Uh, we have one more defense left, so that means that, again, I need to really get a 30 trophy or more attack, which I think is like 98% or something crazy. So let's do our best here, guys. Um, obviously, like a sweeper pointing into the town hall is no bueno. So let's go in with the king. I'm going to send in the sneaky goblin on these uh, resource buildings out here. I also want to get the queen in there too. So I've been doing this thing where sometimes I'll use a dragon to help funnel. But right now, it's not, like, a good thing to do because his air defense is so close. But if I can get my king and my queen to, to do something good in here, then this would be great because I just hit the tornado trap. Let's pop the queen's ability and make sure we get that town hall down. There you go. Uh, king, let me use his ability too. He'll help out with the ice golems. And that pretty much does it for that. So now, let's... Um, I'm actually going to straight hit the sweeper. I know I just said it's kind of a bad idea. But um, uh, if I can get that... Uh, that uh eagle that would be great so let's let's hold on for this and warden's ability nice and early we are getting hit by all the things right now guys all the flipping things let's pop that get a couple of um clone spells in there there you go come on guys get in there get in there there we go i almost didn't use one of my clone spells that would have been miserable oh the queen's still over there dude we killed one of the air defenses over there. that was amazing all right and then uh royal champion i want you to back it up over here i got my sneaky goblin behind you nice okay so it's a good start it really is normally what you want to do is come in with your dragons and stuff and, and, and uh, in and or at an adjacent corner i'm not sure what that the correct grammar for that would be uh come in from an adjacent corner i don't know uh to where the the funnel's kind of set up and everything kind of stays together but because i came on the opposite side to make sure i get that eagle that uh that really splits everything up that's why you see bases like this by the way town halls on one side eagles on the other sweepers pointing at both because they really want to keep your troops spread out and that's how you have to deal with that you have to kill that eagle quickly or, or you'll just you'll die young uh <laughs> but you also really want to try to stick with a funnel so it's a tough it's a tough thing to do but i think we did pretty well all things considered i mean i got the dark looks of storage we're at 70 something percent i need 30 plus uh, trophies again per raid, so that's probably not going to happen today. So, yeah, it makes me wonder. It makes me wonder. I mean, I'm doing just as good, maybe, as I was, but I need to do better to keep up in Legend League. Maybe that's what it is. Like, I'm slowly gaining trophies and things are getting a little more competitive, and that's why I feel like the Dragon Rider change was major, but maybe it's just circumstantial. That's why I ask you guys for your opinions of things, because not everybody's in Legend League. Not everybody has my skill sets or lack thereof. Not everybody has the same brain that I do. So it's good to have multiple opinions, and that's why I ask you guys in the comments for your thoughts on different changes and things that have come to the game. So let me know in the comments what you're thinking. That was a lot of loot, though. That's really what I... <laughs> that's really all I care about. I don't care about the push. I care about the loot. That's why Legend League is so epic, by the way. The loot. So, okay. Okay. I'm going to collect that loot. I think I've just maxed up my gold. That's cool. And let's upgrade something. Let's upgrade something. I guess first things first, the pet house, right? So I'm working on the, the Electro Owl, which is level 5. 
I'm I'm missing I underrepresented the owl earlier, unfortunately. Uh, and we're gonna also continue to work on the yak, which this is the one I'm gonna upgrade because I have the loot for it. So it's two hundred four thousand dark elixir. Bam. Unfortunately, this thing is asleep. But I'm gonna use this book of heroes on him. I need to, and I want to. So welcome back. I probably should have done that upgrade at the beginning of the video so I can use the upgraded yak, but I don't think it would have made much of a difference in these particular raids, because generally speaking, my heroes were diving into bases that were already open or, or I used a super wall breaker. So the yak really didn't do a whole lot. So I'm not I'm not regretting that. Going ahead and upgrading the yak using the book. That's good stuff. Now, somebody pointed out in the comments that I forgot to use my hammer of building and I did. So we're going to go into my progress. And that was in the last episode. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the last video. But uh, I want to max out an expo. I think it's the most expensive upgrade. Actually, I can confirm that right now. Uh, 14.8 million expos are the most expensive upgrade out there right now and probably the longest in time with 15 days and that's with the gold pass. So let's go ahead and use this hammer instantly upgrading one of my expos and there you go. That gave me a bonus of what? 15 DPS on the base. Not terrible. Not bad. That expo right there. I'm actually going to swap these two. There you go. Good, and now I can afford to do another one. I've got the gold for it, so bam, there you go. We got ourselves two expos upgrading right now. I've got loads of elixir, by the way, so I'll be dumping some elixir into my walls. And I've also got some spare gold in my treasury. I'll go ahead and collect that and upgrade whatever I can afford. I've got a builder coming available tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, actually. So I can afford an air bomb. All right, cool. So let's go and upgrade an air bomb. I've got the elixir, but before I do that, I've got to spend the loot on walls and so what I've been doing is I've been working on this K trying to make the K maxed out so let's go ahead and do these uh, four I think I could do two of them three of them potentially four of them no I can't do four of them okay there you go so ha, we're working toward a maxed out K that's pretty cool and uh, that was somebody else's idea by the way it was somebody in my discord DMs shout out to them they know who they are now uh, the best way to adjust for this or um, account for this is to just swap those walls out so now everything's lined up nicely okay i would have liked to have maxed out a builder hut but i'm focusing on this expos because i feel like they're very beneficial so um what am i gonna do oh yeah the air bomb that's right okay air bomb let's go 5.6 million gold there you go and you my friend are gonna come up to here perfect all right, guys. Well, uh, as we continue to max out Town of 14, hopefully I'm able to get it before the next update. Uh, at least the laboratory is rocking right now. Uh, although I want to use those upgraded miners, so we may have to use that soon. Uh, not gem it, but maybe use a book or, so or something. And, um, you know, take advantage of the new levels of stuff. But hey, at least we're making progress. Defense is going. I have zero builders available right now. You can't get any more efficient than that. So I like it. I love it. And I'm enjoying it. So um, as far as uh, trophies and stuff are concerned, yeah, I'm not having a great day. Hopefully my next defenses aren't as bad as these. <laughs> uh, guys, that's all for me. Remember to like, subscribe, join the Klaus family, ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget to use code Klaus with that little green check on that white C. If it's not there, click the C, input code Klaus, and you're good to go. Thank you guys for that support. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.